In this video, we're going to learn how to replace a lengthy list like this with a much more manageable CSV file. So I'm going to use Google Sheets to create my CSV file. You can use any spreadsheet application, works in Microsoft Excel as well. Uh, in column A here, what I've done is typed out all of the questions that are going to be in my quiz. And in my second sheet here, in the CSV sheet, what we need to do is make sure that they're all next to one another, all in adjacent columns like this. Rather than copying and pasting and having to repeat this over and over again, as you add more questions to your app, we're going to use the transpose function. And what that allows us to do then is specify, in this case, the sheet, question sheet, and we start at the very first question, and this one allows us to have up to 100 questions in our quiz. Then what we're going to do when we're ready to save it, we click on File, go down to Download As, and it only saves the current sheet. So make sure then that you're saving the CSV sheet in this example, and it's time to start coding it up in Thunkable. There aren't too many components in this demo app. The most important is that file one component that allows us to load in our CSV file from the blocks. So here, using the read from block, we read in forward slash forward slash tq.csv. So that's just the name of my CSV file. Once we've loaded in the CSV file, what I've done here is I've converted the text into a list that we can use uh, using that list from CSV row block. Hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.